Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hello. My name is Melanie. I hope you stay well. I hope you stay and watch this video and hopefully you like it and you will subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, for today's video, I created this eye look using the Cut Lil Lies and Colourpop collaboration palette right, and I haven't subscribed to my channel I hope you do so make sure you click that subscribe button and if you are liking what you're seeing so far make sure you give this video a thumbs up so if you guys want to see how I created this eye look using Cut Lil Lies and Colourpop's palette then just keep on watching this is her palette guys um, this is Dream Street this this color right here just speaks to me. I cannot wait to use this today. So that's what we're gonna uh, base our eye makeup is this one right here. So I'm just gonna take my um, my Wet n Wild concealer. So I'm just gonna use that to prep my lid. You guys can use whatever lid primer you use. So I'm gonna go blend that onto my lid really quick. That blended really well onto my to my lid. I'm gonna take this one right here. I believe this is Stardust. And I'm gonna set my lid with that one. Ooh, it's a perfect shade to set my lid. I like it. And now just to get our crease going, I am gonna take this one right here. This is Twinkle. And then I'm just using this crease brush. This is from Moda Pro. I believe this uh, is a chrome brush. I got this in my BoxyCharm. My hooded lids are in full effect, so we really need to work on our crease. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's. I went to Florida for Christmas. Uh, family member was in the hospital over the Christmas so we spend a partial of our Christmas day in the hospital. Christmas is where the family is at so you don't need to be at home with a big tree and all that presents and all that stuff you know for Christmas as long as you're with your family and they are healthy and they are safe I think that's where Christmas is. And then I want to take this one right here um, this one is water barrier. You know what? I said I was gonna uh, swatch them for you. This is Stardust right here, and this is a uh, Twinkle. Ooh. And this one is the water barrier. I really love this color, guys. I am gonna take this to my crease as well. I want to take this one, which is Mooney, right here. This is a deep, deep brown shade right here. So let's um, go ahead and swatch this one for you. It's really pretty, guys. It's like a deep brown, but to me, it has like a, a, a hint of like a burgundy tone to it. I am gonna take this to deepen up our crease, and I'm gonna use this Makeup Geek brush this is just a pointed crease brush. I'm just outlining where I want my crease to go. And then we'll blend from there. It seems like I'm having a little problem blending this one. It's blending better with my fluffy brush. So let's go ahead and work on this shade right here. This one is Potion. So this is so beautiful, guys. Um, oh, I love it. Look at that, you guys. That is beautiful. So how I like to apply my dark colors is I take the shade, which whichever dark color shade that I use, and I take that with my fluffy brush. I would take that and work it onto my crease, like how you would blend a crease color on your crease, and I would do that, and then I would, and then I would gradually bring it down onto my lid itself. I just think that it blends well with my crease when I do that, and so I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. This is the dual brush that came with my Subculture palette, and start with a little 
as possible and then I would tilt my head back and just you know apply that onto my crease so you guys do you have any new year's resolution I decided not to make one this year uh, just because I tend to not follow through my resolutions of course I have goals that I want to achieve this year and I don't want to put a time limit on myself and you know you you have to achieve this goal by this time or by this year I obsessed over the number last year it would be nice to have more subscribers but I'm just not gonna obsess about it and I'm just gonna do my thing and Hopefully it's you know it's well received here on YouTube and I just have to uh, work harder on my channel and just watch it grow and not obsess over subscribers or things like that. If you guys have any resolutions for yourself this year, I would love to hear it. I would love to know it. I would love to get to know you guys more. And now I'm gonna take the other side of the brush. It's just a flat brush and I'm gonna take it that and then work that onto my lid this shade reminds me of one of the shades on the subculture palette um, axis this one right here this one has more green undertone and Kathleen has more of a blue undertone let's go ahead and swatch it and let's see so this is potion from Kathleen lights right there it's so pigmented you guys and this is axis like I said, this has more of a green base. This is the Axis on Subculture palette. I think they are very similar to each other. So if you love this color, grab the Kathleen Lights palette. I think they are very similar to each other. So, I think I just found you guys a dupe for the shade. <laughs> I'm gonna take Water Barrier again. And I really want that shade to be up here. So I'm going to bring that back up here. I'm going to use that to to blend the two colors together. I said I want to use this one right here just to give it a little bit of shine and glitter and glitz. <laughs> so I'm going to swatch this one for you. I think they go together for sure. Um, it's such a pretty pretty color those two right there are meant to be but I'm gonna go ahead and wet my finger first before I dip into the shade I think it will give us the most pigment yep so that kind of went everywhere on my lid instead of just in the middle so I think we're just gonna go ahead <laughs> add it everywhere so the lashes definitely makes a difference for sure. Let's go ahead and move on to our face. I'm gonna prime with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I just love this. It just gives um, moisture to my skin. Then for primer, I'm still using the same one, but this is just a Smashbox uh, Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer. So this targets my nose area not my nose area but right here yeah and my nose too but mostly right here and then for foundation i'm gonna take my little cactus that i always do every time i'm gonna take my lawyer infallible pro glow and my becca shimmering skin perfector this is an opal you guys know this is my favorite favorite foundation brush this is the bare mineral brush Make sure we bring it down to our neck, blend it to our ears as well. And then to cover up my under eye circle. And then to brighten up my under eye a little bit, I am going to take my Colourpop No Filter Concealer. This is in light neutral number 15. This is just so it gives me a little bit of highlight where we want to highlight our face and before I set all that I do want to go ahead and use a cream contour I've been loving the LA Girl Velvet Bronzer I use it to sculpt my nose a little bit um, so I just make two lines right here
And then I am using this Morphe M164. Uh, this is new. I haven't used it. This is just a short angled brush. I think it'll be perfect to blend our nose contour. And I'm gonna take this brush. This is from Moto Pro. I'm just gonna use this to blend my cheek contour. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye before I set my bronzer. Of course, you guys, I love, 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 love this press powder. This is from Wet n Wild. It is so inexpensive, yet it works really good for under eye. It really sets my under eye really good, and it doesn't crease on me. So I'm gonna take that with this angle flat brush. This is from Best Taupe. I think that's how you say it. This is an Amazon brush and I love it guys it works really good and I'm gonna take my Alexis Ren and color pop I love color pop you guys they are an amazing brand and their products are amazing so this is just the pressed powder highlighter and bronzer this is topaz uh, this is my go-to bronzer I love it so, so I'm gonna set my cream bronzer with that So you guys, I decided to go back to using blush, so we are going to take uh, this Satin Touch Blush. This is from Essence. Uh, this is in Satin Love or Highlight. I just cannot put down this highlighter, you guys. I love Oasis Highlight Kit. I love the combination of Pina Colada and Tan Line. Pina Colada is a cream highlighter, so I apply that first to my cheeks area. And then I take my giant kabuki brush, fan brush. This is from Crown as well. And then I take the tan lines and I set that cream highlight. And I am obsessed, guys. I went ahead and lined my waterline with my Maybelline New York Eye Studio. This is in black is black. This, you guys, hands down the best gel liner for me. So I'm going to go and take this deep burgundy, deep brown shade right here. This is Mooney. And I'm going to put that all over my lash line. I'm just using this brush just to apply the product onto my lower lash line. And then I will blend it with a more fluffy brush here in a minute. You know what? I want to take a hint of um, with Potion, the lid color that we have. And I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line as well why not just the outer V and then I'm gonna take my this is the makeup geek define crease brush this is a little smaller than the first makeup geek brush that we use and I'm gonna take water barrier and I use that to really smoke up our lower lash line And then make sure you guys uh, put a coat of mascara on your lower lashes. I, I say this all the time. It doesn't matter how short your lashes are. Just put some mascara on them anyways. And if you guys use this L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, even if they are tiny, this brush will grab every little single lower lashes. You go, ah! I just put that on my nose. You guys have. And then to highlight my inner tear duct and my brow bone, I'm gonna take Mermaid Boy right here. So let's go ahead and finish up with a lippy. So you guys, this is what Arabesque looks like on me. This is two coats on my lips. This is Ultra Matte Lip. It feels so comfortable and it just, it's so lightweight on your lips. I love it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. And like always, I will catch you on my next one. Bye guys.